Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow to Born but Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a next five years video looking at my predictions for the next five years at theme parks across the world. This time we're looking at Europa Park in Rouge, Germany as it won the poll uh, around a week ago now. Uh, so it won the poll, uh, just beating Cedar Point by about 10%. Uh, so don't worry, Europa Park and Cedar Point have been pre Well, this has been pre-recorded as is Cedar Point. So both of them will be out in the next couple of weeks, but of course this one is the first to come out. And um, we will look at the last 10 years of the park's history and also look at the next five year predictions now of course this is going to help massively uh, um, with the news story that came out a couple of months ago that we're going to see at least five new attractions and two new themed areas come to the park in the next few years including a new 2023 coaster so this is going to be great greatly appreciated by that news story because this is going to be a very very nice prediction video it's going to be interesting to sort of predict what could happen and, uh, you know, I think refurbishments and major refurbishments that may rip out some of the old life from the current attraction might count as a new attraction. So we'll have to see with that one. But uh, I'm going to go through it step by step. So before we look at the next five years, we've got to look at the last 10 years of Europa Park. So before we get started with that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, let's have a look at the last 10 years of Europa Park. So in 2010, they introduced a brand new water attraction known as Well Adventure Splash Tours. The year after, in 2011, they brought in Vola Da Vinci, the f uh, family co uh, family attraction, uh, Fairy Tale Alley, which is a completely redone area, and also Food Loop, which is their roller coaster restaurant type uh, investment. In 2012, they brought in Hotel Bell Rock, but they also brought in the GCI wooden coaster, the Vodan Timber Coaster. In 2013, they expanded the Enchanted Forest after, before 2014 investments, which saw the introduction of Arthur and the Invincibles, which is a brand new area, including a Mac-powered inverted coaster with dark ride and indoor and outdoor elements. In 2015, they brought in the Carousel du Temps and Beautiful Europe. In 2016, the Island area made its debut along with Happy Valley 4D in the cinema. In 2017, the Flying Theatre Voltaire made its debut before 2018 saw the refurbishment of Eurosat into Eurosat Can Can Coaster, as well as the introduction of Madame Frugelike's Curiosities and Jim Button. In 2019, Snorri Toren, Kronosar, the Museum Hotel and Rulantica Water Park was all introduced before this year in 2020 with the departure to, B to Batavia 4D Cinema Attraction in the 4D Film Arena and also the refurbished and reopened Pirates of Batavia after a fire which tore down the ride in July 2019. So there we go, that's a quick rundown of the last 10 years of Europe Park. A lot of new attractions, a couple of coasters here and there, and uh, obviously we know the next five years is going to be a brand new roller coaster. Uh, so this is definitely going to be a interesting one. The last 10 years were very, very cool, but the next, next five years are going to be even better in my opinion. So let's have a look straight away. Let's get, let's get right down there, guys, and let's have a look at the next five years predictions for Europe Park. So we start off in 2021, I think this one's very, very easy. We've got a brand new expansion to Rolantica with the brand new play area Svalgorok. Uh, this was the construction of the brand new area with some new slides as well. Um, and we've already done construction updates on this. This is going to open, I think, around summer 2021. So uh, we know this is going to happen. So there's no surprise with this prediction. And, uh, you know, I can't wait for this to happen. I think the Rolantica expanding and constantly expanding is going to be great for the park. And it's going to be a great attraction for all ages. In 2022, I am predicting that Adventureland will be rethemed, and with the jungle rafts are going to get a retheme and a redevelopment. Now, this has been in the work. Well, I think the works for the jungle rafts refurbishment has probably been in the air for a while, and I'd like to see something done with it. I'd like to see some new kind of theme come into there. Maybe a new name. Maybe some more theming around it. Maybe some. Uh, enhancements to the story i'd like to see something different done with it and i'd like to see it revolutionized with the time shall we say not a complete rip out of the ride but just like a redevelopment and a refurbishment of the attraction and i think that would give the area a new lease of life so i think the Europa park could make use of that year to do that and i think that a retheme and redeveloped jungle rafts can count as a new attraction so you know you've got to count up the attractions here so that's one in 2023 
this is the year we get the brand new roller coaster. Now, the rumor of a brand new area, or the rumored theme of the brand new area to go along with the coaster, so it's going to be one new themed area and one new coaster to add to the Jungle Rush refurbishment. So that's two new attractions in an area. Keep count. Um, so we've got a brand new roller coaster and a new area. Now, the new area is rumored to be either Romania or Transylvania. So potentially we could go down the ones of the vampire and in terms of a coaster i mean to be honest my best guess is a brand new extreme spinning coaster um but it's sort of i think the latest on the coaster itself was it was going to be maybe some new elements on the coaster that's never really been seen before on a specific type so uh, maybe it could be an extreme spinner with a beyond vertical drop and multiple inversions that haven't been performed on a spinning coaster before again you never know do you so um you know they could do that obviously we know where the coast is going to be located in the brand new area uh, it's going to be located where traumatica halloween event currently stands that's being moved somewhere else and that's being expanded to make a like a like a fully redeveloped halloween event uh, so in the current Traumatica site, that is where they're expanding in this brand new area and a brand new roller coaster. Now, as well as that, I could see maybe one or two new attractions to support that. So I think if you add the coaster, the jungle rafts, um, and then the two new attractions to support the coaster, uh, that is four new attractions technically, along with a themed area. Now, going into... Uh, well, and to be fair, that's the second area, because obviously the jungle rafts are Adventureland kind of area as well. Uh, 2024... Euromir, I think, is the year it's going to get refurbished. I think this has been in the pipe works for quite a while. I think Euromir getting refurbished is something that I want to see, other people want to see, and I think it needs to happen sooner rather than later. So I think 2024 is the perfect year to refurbish this attraction. Now, of course, I, I, is it going to be a similar style refurbishment to uh, the Eurosat Can Can Coaster? I don't know. Uh, but, of course, if you, if you look at that, I mean, you look at... You've got uh, Jungle Rafts, you've got the Coaster, you've got the two attractions, and then you've got the Euromir refurbishment slash redevelopment. So that's five new attractions and then the two themed areas. So that would equal, you know, what it could be. And uh, along with, I mean, if the Euromir refurbishment didn't count, then um, I could see maybe a re-theme and a redevelopment of the Schneeflocken Dart Ride. That could be a case as well. Because I think that that will be refurbished. I think that could get a nice re-theme. And that could be the redeveloped ride. Maybe Euromir goes through a, a re-theme and that's it. But the Schneeflock and Dart ride gets a full makeover. And to look like a new attraction. So that could be the fifth attraction. Um, so I think, but I think either way it would match up to the five new rides. And the two new themed areas by, twi by, by the next few years. Um, so I think Euromir refurbishment and a Schneeflock and redevelopment, I think that will make up a good 2024. And finally, along with maybe ripping out Journey to Rulantica in the Luxembourg Plaza, I'd like to see that because I don't think there's much point with that now. Uh, they can just put that in the water park building itself. For 2025 though, the main thing about it is new entertainment and of course this is the 50th anniversary of Europa Park. So I think that by the time we hit 2025 and we get to the end of this next few years, sort of plan with five new attractions and two new themed areas including the brand new Relicos for 2023 then I think 2025 is the year they just celebrate what they've done with brand new entertainment brand new shows, brand new parades brand new everything just to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Europa Park in style because I think, let's face it COVID by 2025 will be gone So I, I hope so anyway so COVID will be gone We'll have our lives all back on track and Europa Park can celebrate their 50th anniversary in style. So I think they're going to go all out. They're going to do shows in each individual area. They're going to do seasonal parades in each individual area. How each area and how each country celebrates Christmas. Um, I think we're looking at that here. So I think that either way, this is going to be a very exciting next five years for the theme park. So there we go, that is my next five year prediction. So you've got a water park expansion, you've got a brand new roller coaster, you've got a couple of new attractions, some redevelopments of attractions, the Jungle Rafts, Euromir, Schneeflocken. And um, that's how it's pronounced, by the way. I found out it's Schneeflocken, unless I've been pronouncing it wrong my entire career. Um, and yeah, so there's loads of redevelopments, new water park attractions, new coaster, new area. And... Um, you know, I think just enjoyment all around. That's the whole thing with this. Enjoyment, 100%. So, 
I'm a really big fan of this. I hope you guys are a big fan of it as well. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And for now, my name is Coast Shell, Kill on the Coast Alive, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.